Morning. Well, the resistance really was strong with me today. I got up uh, this morning and planning on doing a little ride today. Try to get some photography and I don't think it's going to be a good day for photography. We got absolutely clear blue skies and I really don't like clear blue skies, but I'm here in uh, Globe right now waiting to do a business call and then I'll be getting on the bike and heading up uh, north. I don't know where I'm going to end up, but uh, hopefully uh, we'll be able to find some details, uh, rocks and trees and things that I'm, I'm really trying to expand my brain a little bit. I'm not a landscape photographer, you all know that. I'm a environment photographer, I'm a people photographer, I'm a still life photographer. But I find that when I get out into the world and I try to take those those concepts that I work with with my still life and with my people into the environment that it makes me a better photographer. It, it may not be the best environment photographs in the world. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, but it makes me think about my photography and I think that when you when you force yourself into a position where you have to think about your work, your work can only get better. Uh, unless you overthink it, and gosh, I don't want to do that. Uh, I'm looking across the street at a Jeep that I photographed three years ago, and it's still in the same spot it was three years ago. It's probably just a little bit more rusted now. But then, hey, so am I. Uh, well, I'm going to take you along on the trip, and uh, I'll show you a few things as we're going along here. Well, that was Salt River Canyon. And down at the bottom of the canyon, I dropped the bike. You know, mine goes just somewhere else just for a second. Man, that's it. The bike is down and you're scrambling, you know. Make sure the gas is off and all that shit. I mean, it's just, this is what it is. A lot of nice people down there helped me pick it up and I appreciate all of them. Uh, if you guys are seeing the video, thanks again. That was wonderful that you helped me pick it up. That bike went right back up so fast. It's great. We're on this little uh, little trip to make some photographs, as I said, and I don't know if that's going to work out. I really don't. The weather is, you know, a beautiful day if you want to get a suntan or something, uh, but a terrible day if you want to do any photography. We've got uh, no, not a single cloud in the sky. There's a, a canyon there behind me. And uh, just going to Keep on wandering up and I had a good talk with a photographer who was concerned about his business falling off. And I'm going to mention it and I'm sure he's watching his video and you know who I'm talking about. It made me think that sometimes we all need a kick in the pants to remember what it is that we set out to do. We all need to be reminded that being in business for ourselves means that we're the CEO, the CFO, the CMO, the CIO, the CTO, CTA, BZT, whatever. We're all those things. And when you take time off, that can be a very scary time when you try to come back. So just something to think about on a nice warm day here. We'll talk a little bit more in a moment. I'm going to get up the hill here from the canyon. It was quite warm at the bottom of Salt River Canyon. It's a little bit cooler at the top here. Then it'll cool off a little bit more on the ride and uh, we'll catch up then. This is the fun part of the ride. I thought I'd show you what I brought for the trip. I've got a tent. It's small. A camp chair. Another camp chair in case I meet somebody who wants to sit and have a beer with me bear spray, a hatchet in case that guy having a beer with me pisses me off. No, really, you use this to you know, set up the tent and cut down trees and you know be all Paul Bunyan and stuff. Motorcycle cover, which I won't need tonight. Set up little table so I can put my stuff on a table in the tent. A foam um, just a blow up foam thing that will go under my air mattress to keep the cold away. A 
joke of a pillow, water. There's some other things in the bag and I'll show them in a minute. I'm gonna set the tent up first. Can you see me? I'm gonna set the tent up first. Little home away from home. I'm gonna head into town and get a steak and a burger or some, something to eat and then I'll come back and do some more vlogging. Well, today was a total bust, photographically. The light was terrible, just no sunset. All with the, the light just, the sun just went behind the mountains and it just got dark. So, didn't get some, didn't get any pretty light. Really was hoping for it. Probably get some in the morning. I'm hoping to leave early enough to get some in the morning, but this was kind of a, a test run for my camping abilities. Haven't um, slept in the tent yet. We'll see how that goes. Last time I set up a tent, I wrecked my back and had to have eight weeks of intensive physical therapy and another 12 weeks of regular physical therapy, and I don't want to do that again. So I'm being very careful. It took me an hour to set up my camp. An hour. That is unacceptable. Cannot take me an hour to set up camp. I don't know how long it's going to take me to break down camp, but probably pretty close to the same amount of time. Maybe 15 minutes less because the tent will be easier to rip down than it is to set up. You know, it's just crazy, isn't it? It's just crazy. Try to do things um, all my life and, and put my heart and soul into them. And I used to get really, really disappointed when things wouldn't work out. Now, I don't get so disappointed anymore because things don't work out. Not always. So, here I am up in the mountains in Greer. I rode my motorcycle up. Right there, you can see my motorcycle. And over there is the cool restrooms. That's right, I'm right across from the restrooms. Anyway. Uh, I don't get disappointed anymore. It just is what it is. This is the way uh, this day worked out photographically. And tomorrow is another day, and I'll be back at it. And uh, we'll see what happens when the sun comes up tomorrow. Light's supposed to be the same, but at least I'll be up here in the mountains during the morning light rather than the afternoon light. And we'll see if that's just a little bit more uh, clean. So I'll see you tomorrow. Well, I'm in Heber. Last night was really, really cold. My backpack, uh, sleeping bag, didn't cut it. It was only 30, 38 or 39, but damn, it just uh, didn't work out. I was cold all night, couldn't sleep. And finally, I, I fell asleep early this morning, like about, 3, 3.30, I think I fell asleep. And uh, I slept right through the sun coming up. It's probably too cold to get up and break camp anyway, but I uh, learned something valuable. I gotta get uh, something extra for that sleeping bag. It's just not gonna cut anything under 40 degrees. Um, but it was pretty damn cold. So I'm headed for uh, the valley. I go down through Pace and I think there's there may be savior for me to get one more shot. Want one more shot? <laughs> one shot. Uh, maybe uh, a possibility is a place I've been wanting to hike back into. I'll park the bike off the road and see if I can hike back in there and get some reflected light. It's little pools of water. Should be pools of water there in June because uh, there's there's uh, been a lot of uh, snow melt up here. So anyway, I'm back on the road, full tank of gas. And I'm out of here. Well, that was a big nothing burger. Couldn't get down to where I needed to go to get that shot. So as you can see, the light is just flat and dead like it is a lot of times here in Phoenix and in the Arizona desert and probably lots of places in the Southwest. So no photographs this trip, but I have been doing some sketching for my upcoming portfolio month. I've really got two portfolio months coming up, folks. I've got 
July, which will be some product and still life kind of approaches. And then I've got um, August where I'll be doing a, an adventure on the motorcycle uh, off to um, Alaska. That's what this trip to the last night was really about, was to test my camping abilities. And you know, they were, uh, they, um, well, they, uh, you know, I, they, they sucked. They sucked. Took me an hour to set up camp. But I got some sketching done about what I'm gonna do for my, my work coming up. We were talking earlier in the video about sabotaging yourself. Sometimes we do that and we don't even really know why. Maybe there's a reason. Maybe there's a reason in our subconscious that's saying we don't want to do it anymore. It's okay to not want to do it anymore. It's okay not to want to be a, an insurance salesman anymore. It's okay not to want to be a, a lawyer anymore. It's okay to not want to be a photographer anymore. If that's what you want to do, then you should do it. There's no shame. There's no pain. Being a photographer these days is a hell of a lot of work. You give up a lot. Remember back in uh, back in the day, what it was like to be a photographer, and not having weekends off, not having you know birthdays. My wife and I used to joke about uh, when things get slow. Let's book non-refundable airline tickets, and boom, things pick up. Vacations missed, birthdays missed, anniversaries missed. It's a tough life. It just is. And it's not for everybody. And some people I think are very, very good at photography but want to be a little bit on a different path. And that's okay. So here's how you self-sabotage yourself. You don't work on your portfolio at all. None. Don't do it. Just, uh, you know, have the stuff in your book and that you have there now and leave it there for, you know, about two years and that'll, that'll, That'll do it, because people come and see your pictures and say, well, there's no new pictures here. If you're not in love enough with photography to want to shoot on your own for yourself, maybe it is time to move on. And like I said, and I'll say it again, there is nothing wrong with that at all. I don't like this light. It lights up my nose, it makes me look like a, a guy with a really big nose. I guess I, I kind of am a guy with a really big nose, but I don't like the light anyway. So I'm gonna turn back this way with my baby in the back there. Tilt my head down a little bit and the light goes away. Do you see that? Cool, huh? All right, I'm heading down to the valley here for the last, the last run. I'll stop one more time to get some water uh, because it's really gonna be hot when I come down off this mountain here. And we'll see you guys tomorrow, all right? Maybe, uh, have a something else to share with you.